Thoughts produce gravity. Feelings also produce even more gravity. When you're thinking, you can't feel at the same time. It's either you're up here or you're downstairs feeling. Feeling your emotions, expressing your emotions is where the resolution is. If we're overthinking, we're avoiding expressing our emotions because feeling our emotions is expressing them. If you're producing gravity through your thoughts and through obviously emotional stress, that is going to produce gravity, which if for a lot of you that don't realize, gravity is a weight that kind of keeps us on the ground. Just imagine now that if you're constantly thinking, you're literally feeling heavy, you're making yourself heavy. It's like walking around with a five kilo backpack on all day, every day, right? And then imagine then if you've got emotional stress, you put another five kilos on your backpack as well. Quickly, you're gonna be carrying an extra 10 kilos for nothing. And then you wonder why it's hard and you're fatigued and you're cloudy and life's just gray. The more you express emotions and the more you flush them out by feeling them and you know, getting a little bit upset or crying or whatever you need to do, you're literally making yourself lighter. You're literally, it's gravity. That's the science is because gravity attracts thought and feelings. Thank you, John Amarant, for that. But let's go now into a little bit of, uh, into the spiritual side of things. Excess cortisol is a stress, that's the stress hormone. And we also told you that the stress, too much excess stress is acidic and illness and disease breathes in acidity, it loves acidity. Cancer just loves the acidic environment. So now physiology is gonna now deteriorate as well. From you overthinking and from you not <laughs> dealing with your emotions, you're making your stress levels keep going up and up and up and up. So not only are you attracting more gravity, which makes life harder, you feel like you're weighted down, but now you're actually causing illness and disease internally through the excess stress. Being free from thought is not only possible, but it's actually normal. You can't be free from thought unless you're free from emotions. You can't stop overthinking unless you deal with the emotions first. Go to the source, go to the heart, go to the core, go within deeper. Set the quiet time, set the silence. This is why the spiritual path is the first step. I just gave it to you. Because you get a new job, you're going to create more noise up here. You get a new boyfriend or girlfriend, more noise up here. Your time is taken away from you, and the time is what you actually need to go and feel these emotions. You're delaying the inevitable of, okay, if I want full resolution, if I want to make sure that you know I'm not perpetuating an environment for illness and disease to set in through excessive stress, if I don't want that, I need to set my priorities straight. And it's simple. Reduce all stress. And not only will you stop overthinking, what do you know? You'll start to <laughs> balance out the acidity and the alkalinity internally as well. And the more alkaline you become, the lighter you feel, the more energy you have, and the more vibrant you're gonna be.